with a creamy vanilla sauce. So let's get started. So the first part of this recipe is going to be the filling for the strudel. So what I've done is peeled and thinly sliced about three small apples. So about 500 grams worth or 15 ounces. And I've covered them with two tablespoons of lemon juice just to stop them from going, going brown. So they're going to go into a, a pot or a pan. Next I've got one fourth of a cup of dried fruit. I'm using mixed dried fruit, but you could use any fruit that you like, whether it's raisins, apricots, dates, it doesn't really matter, it all tastes good. To this mixture I'm also adding one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and three tablespoons of coconut sugar and one fourth cup or quarter of a cup of almond meal. You could also use some instant oats if you don't want to use nuts. Now you just want to heat this mixture on a medium heat and just keep stirring it until it's all nice and caramelised. Okay, so this has been cooking for about five minutes now and the apples have started to soften and the um, sugar and fruit have all caramelised. So I'm going to take this off the heat now and let it cool down while I make the vanilla sauce. Okay, so while that mixture is cooling in the fridge, I'm going to get started on the vanilla sauce. And first of all, I'm adding three cups of non-dairy milk. So today I'm using almond milk, but you can use any non-dairy milk of your choice, whether it's oat milk or rice milk, coconut milk, whatever you like, it'll all be good. To the milk, I'm also adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of white sugar. You don't have to use sugar or you can use more sugar than that if you like, it's all up to you. That is totally optional how sweet you want your sauce. But just for the recipe today, I'm using one tablespoon of sugar. And the reason I'm using white sugar for this is just to keep the color of the sauce a little bit more neutral. Otherwise I would put in coconut sugar if I wanted a little bit more caramelized. To make the sauce a little bit more yellow, I'm also adding just one eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric. And finally, I'm adding three tablespoons of cornstarch. You could also use our root flour or tapioca starch. And if you want your sauce a little bit thicker, by all means, just add a little bit more flour. I'm just going to give this a stir through before I turn on the heat, just so the um, flour blends in without clumping. That's nice and mixed through now so I'm going to turn this on to a low to medium heat and just cook it through until it thickens slightly and the raw flavour of the flour will be cooked out. It's totally up to you how thick or thin you want this sauce. If you do want a thicker consistency, more like a custard, like I said just add more cornstarch into this mixture. Otherwise just keep it as a fairly smooth and silky runny vanilla sauce. Okay so I've been cooking this for about five minutes or so over a medium heat and now it's nice and silky and smooth so I like to have my vanilla sauce this way and I'm going to just serve mine at room temperature today but you can serve this warm or cold depending on what your preference is. Yum, it smells really good. Now that the vanilla sauce is done, we're ready to assemble our rice paper rolls. And what I'm using today is just some rice paper sheets. You can get them in the Asian section of any grocery store or even at a, an Asian grocery um, store itself. So what I'm doing is putting it into a baking tray, just a round baking tray with some water in it just to soften it up. But you could also use a large plate to do this as well. And it, it probably takes about half a minute or so. You'll feel that it starts to soften up. You don't want it totally soft because it can then fall apart. So just have a play around with this um, technique and you'll start to get the hang of it after you've done a few and they're really easy to make. 
Okay, so this is now softened up and I've got just a wooden chopping board with a wet tea towel and it just helps to the rice paper not to stick to the board. Now I'm going to get about a tablespoon's worth of this filling and place it in the lower third of the rice paper and just spread it out. Just put a little bit more in. Okay, I'm going to start by folding the sides in and then just roll from the bottom section and roll it all the way up so it ends up looking like a spring roll and then I've got a plate that's lined with non-stick parchment paper that I'm just going to sit these on while I make them all. So while you're assembling one roll you can already get your rice paper in for the next one ready to go so it's softening while you're assembling. Just make sure it's all immersed under the water. So you can put as much or as little filling in each of these as you like. My ones, how many have I got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could have probably put a little bit more filling. So they make eight quite easily. So it would be good for a serve for four people. And if you want to store these in the fridge and make them ahead of time, just make sure if you do have more than one plate full that you put a piece of non-stick parchment paper in between just to stop them from sticking to each other. Okay, now for the exciting part, now that everything's been made, the tasting. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this sauce on here just to taste. I'm not making this look beautiful or anything. It's just for me to try and take one of these. Delicious sauce. Oh. Mm. Mm. That is really, really good. If you wanted to, you could even bake these in the oven a little bit to crisp them up. Mm. But this combination, woo, mama, this is good. Happy days. I'm not normally a dessert person, but boy, oh boy. This is really, really good. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Mm. <laughs> this is really, really good. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. And I look forward to any comments that you may have and any feedback. Join me on Facebook at Cooking with Plants or check out the website for a printable recipe of this at cookingwithplants.com. Mm. See you next time. Bye.